Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, every essence is all about trying to learn various concepts related science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is a continuation of the series where we are trying to learn Python by solving interview questions from top tech companies like Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google. If you are preparing for any of these roles, this is a great series to follow and try to build your concepts. So yeah, let's jump right in. In this video, we are going to solve this question on status scratch regarding finding the average rating of moving stars. This question has been asked in Google and Netflix, and it's a great question if you are preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, data analyst, ML engineer, or software engineer roles so yeah let's jump right in the question reads find the average rating of each movie star along with their names and birthdays sort the result in ascending order based on the birthday use the names as keys when joining the table so what does this statement mean so basically you need to join the two tables that you are given nominee filmography and nominee information on the column called names so we are given two different data frames and our expected output is a pandas data frame with three different columns birthday name and average rating so if we let's inquire about the nominee filmography data frame so here we have name uh, movie id movie title rating year id right and then there is another data frame which is called nominee information which has five different columns name uh, birthday ids top gender etc right so what we want we want the birthday we want the name and then we want the average rating so what we can do is we can go ahead and from this nominee filmography try to calculate for every person right so for every name what is the average rating so let's go ahead and do that so we are doing is from this table called nominal filmography let me group by the name since we have learned about aggregation functions so what we can do is we can do dot aggregate what is the final uh, column name that we want in our output it is rating right so we write it as rating and how are we going to calculate the average rating we need to take the rating column from the nominee filmography and perform the mean right so perform mean and since we are grouping by the name that will become the index by default so we need to write reset index and you know let's save this entire thing in a data frame let's call that data frame as average rating okay so if we look at this you know data frame so let me just try to run this and see what do we have in our output so here you see that for every particular name what is the average rating now since in our second data frame we have nominee information we already have the birthdays and name so what we can do is we can join this data frame with the average rating let's try to do that so here what i am going to do is let's do pandas dot merge and then take the nominee information table or data frame and then take the average rating data frame that we just created and then use on is equal to name why are we doing this because this is what the question says it says use the names as keys when joining the tables and how we are going to perform this join we are going to do a left join how is equal to left why we are doing a left join so basically what we are doing is we are keeping everything from the nominee information and just adding another column which contains basically the average rating of this person right so once we have this let's save this in a data frame called df so df is equal to this let me just drag it to the left and let me try to return the data frame so if we look at our output this this is what we have so we have the names a top chain a birthday etc and all that and now we have added another column as average rating now once we have this what all columns that we require in our output we do not require every column right we want the birthday the name and the average rating so in this data frame right so pandas.merge we can you know provide that as well so we can provide a list of columns that we want firstly we want the birthday then we want the name of the person and then we also want the rating which can train the average rating so now if i go ahead and run this we are only going to have these three columns okay another thing that we need to do this is we need to sort the result in ascending order based on birthday so here only what we can do is so this data frame contains basically this three columns right so what we can do is we can go, go ahead and do sort values and then by which column we are sorting birthday and it should by default it does ascending but just to you know make it explicit let me write ascending is equal to true so now let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now this entire thing is sorted in ascending order by birthday but one thing if you look at it so here you have birthdays which only has year month and days but here it is a date time and even if you look at this 
so if you look at this nominee information data frame it has a birthday in date time now we have already learned in this series that whenever you are dealing with date time it is good to import a library called date time because it is very powerful and provides us with a lot of methods and functions deal with date times so now what we can do is we need to convert this right so we need this convert this birthday which is the date time into year month and date format so what we can do is we can use the date time dot strip time method and what we are basically doing is take the birthday column and then from the date time library get the strf time method and we can pass the format that we want so we want capital y for year then small m for month and we want the date this is all we want now if i go ahead and do this and try to run this let's see what do we know so here now this entire thing is converted from date time to the format that we want so now i think this looks good let me go ahead and submit this as pass all the test cases so yeah, if you look at it everything is green let me view the output in a separate browser tab let's look at it so everything is green and this is how we do it so yes somewhat tricky question all we had to do was firstly we calculated for every person what is the average rating and then we you know reset the index so that we have the name and the average rating as columns and once we had that then we merge that information with the nominee information table so that we have the birthday name and rating and then we sorted by birthday in ascending order and then since birthday was in date time and we wanted a different format we use the powerful method from date time library strf time and got the result in whatever was desired in our output so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video